it's coming up to the end of the year and I thought I'd do a um, well a sort of wrap up of all my Saturday wraps but um, the best and worst the saints and sinners so here are the saints um, no people on purpose although thank you to everyone who made it into work and all those people who delivered our food and our goods and kept the country going and a shout out to those who couldn't but still carried on because 2020 has been a rather difficult year for a lot of people anyway um it's all over the place it's tech it's beer it's odd things it's not even coherent in a lot of places so i'm going to start off with some software and for me the best cross-platform software of the year and it's a joint award first of all goes to surprisingly microsoft chromium powered edge okay it runs on windows it runs on the mac it runs on ios well sort of you know what happens with browsers and ios it runs on android and the developer version is out on linux yeah um i'm running it on windows and the mac um and android and ios and on windows and the mac it is my primary uh, can't even say it primary browser and i like it a lot and there is a reason for choosing that opposed to the normal browser of choice that i had the other joint cross-platform piece of software of choice and if you're a windows user you're in for a good one here because it's basically free is a program called jump desktop it's a remote control um, program it means you can control one pc from another pc and it does all the nat traversal for you um, you install the server on the pc or mac that you want to control and then the client desktop program is the one that you do use for control it does rdp and various other uh, things as well um, but it has a and i think it's fluid and it runs like it runs like bilio to be honest um i got it because uh, uh by hangs a tail i couldn't run my very old web authoring software on my new laptop but it would run on my desktop so um i actually used it from hereford and i was mightily impressed jump desktop okay utility of the year which is sort of cross platform as well um if you've ever used an iphone and then you hold down on some text you get a little pop-up that pop-up is really useful and if you're on a mac there's a program that will do the same called pop clip that's in the app store and if you're on windows a thing called panther bar and that's in the microsoft um, app store as well really good programs really useful and i like them a lot hardware <laughs> uh, the raspberry pi 4 um i've had it since i think it was march or early april it runs rasputin which is a version of linux it's really easy to get on with it has a nice desktop it'll basically do anything you want and there's a version now in a keyboard and you just attach a monitor to it and you're practically there and ready to go little tiny thing does the business um chromium LibreOffice, firefox can't really go wrong my podcast of the year not necessarily a new podcast but one that i've started to uh, listen to this year in the past it has been the tech meme ride home which if you like your tech and you want to keep up with the news is excellent um this is one and i find it difficult um because the mac podcasts tend to be a lot better than the windows podcasts obviously apart from windows weekly um this is a mac podcast it's a daily podcast and it's mac os ken 
not only is it tech, it's very satirical and snarky. And it's about 20 minutes a day, and I like it a lot. And it's well worth listening to if you want to keep up to date on all things Apple. Okay, moving on to pubs and bars. Um, let's see, January, February, three quarters of March, July, August, and a little bit of September. And that was it for pubs and bars and going out for beer drinking. Um, so I didn't get to many, but here's a new one. Pubs in Cardiff. Um, was the small bar, was at Beelzebub, and now is just Bubs. The guy who is in charge of it, he is awesome. And he does some great beers, and he likes sours. And the last time I went in there, just before Christmas, he was playing Stevie Ray Vaughan. The Wi-Fi is really fast as well, which is great because the small bar and Beelzebub's, it was rubbish. Okay, pub, it she knows. Uh, pub, the Barley Mow in Bristol. Didn't get many chances to go there, in fact, I think it was only one. And that was in January when I went to Bristol for CES. I couldn't go to the real CES. Um, good old fashioned pub. Uh, lots of great beers. It's the tap for the Bristol Beer Factory. And the Wi-Fi is not bad. It's really good, actually. <laughs> and it's got a great welcome. Okay. On to open source software. At the beginning of lockdown, I decided... Uh, um, I had an old laptop. Uh, it was a Windows laptop, and it was causing issues, and Windows was doing odd things and whatever. Um, Linux Mint 19.3 is an extended service release. Um, with the Cinnamon desktop. Really, really, really impressed with it. Works a treat, updates a treat. Um, you can do what you want with it. Um, surprisingly enough, I'm running in Chromium on there, soon to be a credge. Um, WhatsApp desktop, um, that's a snap. Um, various other things. Oh, private internet access. My um, VPN of choice. Runs a treat. Excellent. Um, has been replaced now by 20, but this is an extended uh, release, so I'm staying put because I enjoy it. The innovation of the year. Could be hardware or software. It's actually hardware. It's the Apple Silicon M1 system on a chip. They announced that they were moving over to Apple Silicon and the test environment was a Mac Mini running um, an Apple A14. Um, and everyone thought it would just be, the, well, let's put an iPhone chip in a desktop or a laptop and there you are. It isn't. It goes like the wind. It's a really great machine. The laptops, and at the moment they are the A MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini. Um, they run, <laughs> they run Intel software faster than Intel runs Intel software, and that's running under an emulation. Um, oh, I was so tempted over Christmas, but times are hard. Plus the fact that. These are the slowest M1 laptops and desktops out there at the moment, so things can only get better. Media. Best streaming television series or film. Um, Apple TV Plus, it was free, or oh, certain of the programs were free back in April, and I saw For All Mankind, not being a spoiler, the premise is that Russia got to the moon first. It's excellent. It's really good. And the disappointment for this Christmas was I thought it, Series 2 was on over Christmas. Actually, not until February. But um, 
well worth watching. The only thing I don't like is that they don't release these programs out as well downloads. You have to sign up for it. Although you can, I think you can have seven days as a free um, trial. And I'm not sure if it's still going, but if you bought any hardware, you get a year free. He says, waiting for a new Apple TV. Uh, now scheduled for quarter one, 2021. Please. Okay. Um, Hotels of the year. A joint winner. And both these are joint uh, uh, sinners as well. Premier Inn and Travel Lodge. They are both struggling. I know the Travel Lodge has had one of those voluntary arrangements and has sold off or deleased certain premises. I'm talking about the Travel Lodge in Hereford. Pomona Road. There's a guy there who's always there. He's really good. It's free parking. It's close to the centre of town. It's across the road from Sainsbury. Uh, Wi-Fi is okay-ish, but it's nice, and I like it, and it's really good. Premier Inn, um, okay, I'll come back to Premier Inn um, a little bit more with uh, Sinners. However, when got locked down, uh, didn't have to do anything they just refunded the money and if you um, change your dates they would refund the difference and usually as the re as the lockdowns got harder the refunds got more they really did well you didn't have to do anything they just got on with it which was great customer care Hereford be a house and their deliveries I wanted all new beers they checked my untapped for beers that I hadn't drunk. Put a nice little note in the box as well. And the beers so far have been absolutely awesome. Really, really good. They went that little bit further. I'd love to go back there. But I have a feeling I'll probably be locked down at least until St. David's Day. Which, if you don't know, is March the 1st. And the last minute hero from Bombitch Software, Carbon Copy Cloner. If you've got a Mac, you need Carbon Copy Cloner. It got me out of so much trouble yesterday. It's excellent. It's easy to use, it works well, and it's greatly supported. Anyway, so those are my saints for 2020. I'm sure there's a lot more that I haven't remembered, but um. Good stuff. So put a beer in there as well, but <laughs> um, I might come back to that on a separate one. Who knows? Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Um, the comments, um, YouTube or WordPress or Facebook or Twitter or MeWe. Um, and I'll see you for Sinners, possibly tomorrow. Depends on the weather. It's no a nice warning up until New Year's Eve. Bye-bye.